Hi. What's it like to be retired in Australia? It's terrific. It's terrific. I've been retired now for 29 years. I'm 88 years of age and I think I'm having some of the happiest days of my life. Why? Why is Australia so great to retire to? Well, one thing is, just take a look at the weather. The weather here in Australia compared with most parts of the world. This is a big, stable continent. In the winter, the so-called winter, which is a favourite time of the year for many people, the skies are blue. They remain blue for a long, long while. You can go on holidays and you can trip around Australia. You can get in your caravan. You can go inland. You can canoe. You can surf. <laughs> you can do so much. A lot of other things going for it. We don't have too many riots. We don't have little internal squabbles like some countries have. We're not likely to have a revolution. You're not likely to have your home invaded or burned down <laughs> by an angry mob. No, I'm kidding. No, it's, it's a great place to be. When I retired, I started doing various things. And one of the things I did is I made on my wall calendar all of the things I was going to do on the various days that I had this freedom. Now, let's face it. When we are retired, there are things we don't have to do anymore. We have this freedom of choice. But we can also say, what do I want to do today? And you can plan out your whole year. Often that's what I, I usually do. I'm in a couple of organisations, Toastmasters International being one of them. And I write the days of the meeting on the calendar. So I know that those days, if it's a daytime meeting or those evenings, I have something to do. And then I have other things, of course, to do. We all do. And that even will include serious stuff like maybe the doctor's appointment. And there are lots and lots of free days. And in Australia, free days can really be enjoyed. Because as I said, the weather is generally good. The people are friendly. The 300 million square miles of Australia, remember, it's as big as the 48 states of the United States of America. Everyone speaks English. Australian English, of course, with an Australian accent, or maybe other accents, because this country is filled with people from all over the world. We have people from China, from India, from New Zealand, from England, from France, from Spain, from South America, from North America, from Canada, all over the place. This is a land where many people live and we all get on pretty well. We all get on well. It's a land where, made up really, of people who've come here from overseas to live. Probably roughly one in three people who live in Australia have come from overseas. And their children have become what we call dinky-dye Australians. Real Australians, true blue. They might have a foreign-looking face by Australian, European, English standards, but they are certainly welcome here. If you want to retire and you get the opportunity, come and live in this great land. I'm an immigrant, came from the UK at age 14, almost 15, started work the day after my 15th birthday, worked for 44 years and have now been retired for 29 years. Sure, I've, I've lived in other countries. My wife and I and family, when they were very young, lived in Papua New Guinea, 
two years. Oh, the weather, humidity, pouring rain every night, thunderstorms. Good experience, but I wouldn't want to settle down there. No, not for me. Lived in New Zealand for two and a half years. Great country, wonderful people, very much like Australians. But the weather, oh, too cold for me, too changeable. Australia with its stable, high pressure systems over the winter, really good. Summer can be a bit hot, a bit humid, especially if you go north. But Australia is a big country. You can live in a place as far south as Tasmania or as, or as far north as Cooktown on the Queensland coast. Great place. You can get in your car and travel for days on end. No restrictions, no border crossings where you have to show passports and all this sort of nonsense. People will look after you and in the bush they're even more friendlier than in the cities. So if you want a place really good to live, come to Australia. There are many cities. There are big cities. Sydney, Melbourne, they're into their, ta they're into their millions of people. Then there are smaller cities. And then there are what they call regional cities where you have maybe only four or five hundred thousand people. And these are wonderful places to live. They have everything here. Universities to study in. So many things to do. Oh, and one thing they do have. Lots and lots of clubs. The RSL, the Returned Soldiers Leagues, made these clubs all over Australia and you don't have to spend a lot of money to be a member. You can join these clubs for as little as $5 a year. And you can go in and meet friends, and have dinner, do all manner of things. I'm a member of several of these clubs and most Australians are. There are bowling clubs, tennis clubs, golf clubs. We don't have any of this status stuff out here. You know, this upper class, middle class and lower class. This is a gregarious society where you can call the Prime Minister by his first name if you're in his company. People don't stand on ceremony in Australia. This is a great place for all people, for all levels. So if you want a really good place to retire to, think about Australia. And if you are an Australian, stay where you are, mate. This is the best country in the world.